Season 3, Episode 16, Perfect Game. Guys, welcome back to our Attack on Titan reaction series. Last episode, we had the truth behind the death of Marco revealed in all of its gruesome fashion, the name reveal of the Beast Titan, in fact, being Zeke, and the grand transformation of Bertholdt into the Colossal Titan following a pretty character-defining conversation between him and Armin. We're gonna hop right into this episode, but before we do, if you're new to the channel, drop a sub and hit that big boy bell. We're gonna be grinding out the rest of the season and heading straight into Season 4, which is currently premiering, so you aren't gonna wanna miss that. And with that being said, enjoy the episode. <laughs> the showdown. Well, it's okay, because we're looking for the basement. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like how she smacked him with a literal, like, explosive spear. What? Poor Armin, he's gonna blame himself now. Aboard Aaron. He's like Noah's Ark. How are they supposed to... Like, I feel like even Aaron can't do anything to a certain extent. Oh, they have the rockets still. I don't know if the rockets are gonna do anything against uh, this you don't think monstrosity. So? I mean, maybe if they like lob them deep enough in. I forgot that they they kind of sent cannon them fodder to titans. They were just there to distract. Not a coward, just confident. Oh, they guys have some pretty big balls, though. Yeah, actually, you just don't know. <laughs> See Levi pop off. Oh, you should know what's going on back there, <laughs> Levi. Oh. Are those from the the Beast Titan? Just chucking rocks? Oh my God, yeah. he did. Oh yikes! That was a pretty fucking cool scene. I'm not gonna lie. It was like bullets, dude. Oh my god! Just tore through him. I want to hear that one talk again. Sound like a robot. God, dude, the Beast Lion is such a sick villain, though. Oh my god. What a horrible way to die, too. Just rocks just flying through you. Yeah, just I'm another one. Oh my god. The town's just red. Yeah. They have to make a move. They're really gonna kill everyone on the front line. Oh, yikes. Gonna keep leveling the houses, yeah. God, so huge. I guess on the, uh, the other side of the wall. Yeah. Really. It's not like the entirety of Han's group was like just crushed by whenever Berthold transformed. Good thing this town is here, though. I mean, if it wasn't, like, they would just be sitting duck. Smart move on the Colossal and, and everyone for camping this town because yeah. they knew that. Yeah. She's the important spot. Oh, they had a plan plan. Yeah. Mm. He's a... Wait, he's joining them? Oh my gosh. Yell at him. Yeah, he hasn't been able to even effectively use his scream yet. I know he can't troll, like, intelligence. Yeah, and he does not give a... Yeah, yeah, he does not care. What do you do? Like, tear away at it? I feel like it's so reinforced. But he has to be still. I think. That didn't... Yo, just thinking about it, like... Continuity errors? When they said that the ODM gear didn't, didn't make sense to go close to him, you know who the only person that ever got close to the Colossal was? Uh, it was Eric. Was it? Remember in the first, in like, the first oh, season? Oh, yeah. All right, I guess we'll find out if they can even do anything. 
Oh, dude, a sense of scale right there. Yeah, of actually how enormous he is. Yeah. I mean, you can't... Oh, he's actually kind of pushing him. Oh, shoot. I thought he wasn't even going to be able to budge. Knock him out. Yeah, he fell. Oh, my gosh. Leveled in the city. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, he did. Oh, my God. Just launched him. I thought he went into the wall for a second. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're like, oh, it's not looking good on that side, yeah. Yo, Loki, good spot to be, though. Loki, good spot. Okay, Jin! I like the confidence. Yeah, see how close you can get. Okay, because they used him against Raynor. I still don't know how much they'll do, though, because they exploded in Raynor, but they still just kind of, like, didn't do that much. They did a bit. But okay, they did a lot, let's be honest. But I, I don't guess know the eyes are pretty weak, yeah. This Bernal looks so confident. Oh, yeah. The steam yeah. is so powerful, they're like floating. The spears were like floating in the air. Oh my gosh. And they did, they did say like the weakness of it is if they don't have any buildings or anything to hang on to, it's like you, you can't really go anywhere and it can hit you. Commander, Commander Armin. Commander Armin. He's just going. They need something. I don't know what's gonna take him down. Maybe, no way. He, he looks healed. perfectly fine. He healed. Oh my gosh. Robin. Okay, either Aaron has to like jump from the top of the wall oh, and like claw God. into his face or he has to start controlling Titans. Like there's- that, that was a little bit of a sidearm there. I don't know if I like that pitch. <laughs> this perfect know. game's ruined. Yeah. Can you? That's what they want them to do though, is flee. Cause they have the giant ring of Titans. This is so sad. What do you mean the horses flee because of this guy? I think he lost his horse, like everybody has one. Like they need as many as they can get. True. Sheesh. Way to lower morale, man. They need like Irvin to give some words of inspiration. Yeah. So some leadership here. Yeah, they definitely need leadership. But even then, how do you defeat the Beast Titan if you couldn't with everyone like this? Some morale, Jack! Levi's gonna want me on him? There's other ways that out that, that out could, could happen. You know, you don't have to just one v one the beast titan. Uh, Irvin's big brain coming into play, baby. <laughs> you gotta talk fast. I mean, he's just gonna keep. Everyone. Wait, wait, wait. So he's saying he and all of them have to die for the plan to work? How do you, how do you lead them into that? Yeah, what an absolute defeat. <laughs> how do you tell them, hey guys, let's run right at this, uh, at death? Oh, that's how. Jeez. Taking your leader he's with you. Yeah. If he's able to give his own life. It shows how ready he is, because he wanted, like I said, he wanted to be, like, there whenever they looked yeah. in the basement. And if True. he's ready to just die, right. it shows how much he cares. Yep, there you go. That's so Going sad, because that's been his entire, yeah, his whole life has built towards that. God. So close. That relates back to what Kenny said, how everybody lives just for a dream, or lives for something. Dang. Like a little throne. A humble throne. 
よく戦ったおかげで俺たちはここまでたどり着くことが夢を諦めて死んでくれ神兵たちを地獄に導け t h e y come to peace with it? Oh, there they go. Oh my god. Dude, what if he just threw one, one boulder? Dude, this is pretty pot. He's not expecting this. Oh, they, they, they would have some other plan, yeah. Oh, smoke? Oh my god. I was gonna say, how did he convince them? Such a widespread. Can Levi just like slice his nape? I feel like the Beast Titan isn't that susceptible to just someone attacking him. I guess Levi's a little bit more. Gifted, but still. Oh, use the Titans? The Titans. Oh my gosh. It's D Day. Yeah, actually. It's either die or die like trying. そうだ。死ねということですか。そうだ。死ね。どうやって死ぬなら、どうやって死ぬと未来がないですよね。全くその通りだ。全くもって無意味どんなに夢や希望を持って幸福な人生を送ることができる。あの兵士たちも。海だったのか。いや、違う。あの兵士たちに意味を与えるのは我々だ。あの勇敢な死者を、哀れな死者を、聖者である我々だ。我々はここで死に。それこそ唯一。この残酷な世界。スポークのリー